Hi everyone, in this video I am going to show you how you can calculate the trigonometric functions like sine, cosine and tan using simple excel formula. Not only are we going to find out the sine, cosine and tan for angles which are represented in whole numbers, but we will also look at a scenario where we have the uh, angles represented in degrees and minutes. So first, let us look at the scenario where we have the angles in whole numbers. So to do the, to calculate the trigonometric functions, we, it is a two step process. First step is to convert the angles in degrees into angles represented in radians. And that can be done by a very simple formula, which is, let's put equal to radians, we can see it here and in the parameter we can just pass the angle in degrees close parenthesis enter now that i have this i can drag this all the way down here and let us do a quick check we know that 180 degrees is equal to pi so we say 3.14 here 360 degrees is 2 pi which is 6.28 so this looks correct now that we have our angles and radians, let us calculate the sine, cosine and tangent. Again, this is a very simple formula equal to sine. And within the parentheses, we'll have to pass the angle in radians, which we just calculated. Enter. Equal to for cosine, it is equal to cos and pass the angle in radians. And for tan or tangent, it is similarly tan and the angle in radians. Now, let me select all this and drag it all the way down like this. Now, you will see something interesting. So, we have now the sine, cosine and tangent values for all these angles in degrees. However, you see these two, these are not errors. We know that tan or tangent of 90 degrees is nothing but uh, sine 90 divided by cos 90, which where cos 90 is zero. So anything divided by zero is undefined. And this is how Excel is representing that. It is infinity or undefined. So this is not an error. This is how Excel is representing that number. Now, moving on to the other scenario where I have a value of an angle, which is say 30 degrees and 25 minutes. I have taken the degrees and minutes and put them into two different cells for ease. The first step that I need to do is basically convert this into degrees. And I can do that by saying equal to degrees plus open parenthesis, the minutes divide by 60 close parenthesis. So this gives you 30 degrees, 25 minutes becomes equivalent to 30.42 degrees. Then we just need to convert into radians as we just saw. And we now have the angle in radians which and using that we can easily find out the sine cosine and tan just as we did it a minute back and there you have it so using the same similar formula you can find the cosine and tan so that's all there is to it hope that this video is useful to you and have a lovely day